Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video we are going to talk about Rollbar, a very nice backtracking software. We are going to talk about pros and cons, I'll tell you more about uh, Rollbar, we'll check up the pricing and then we'll pick inside so you exactly know what you can expect. So what is Rollbar? Rollbar is a comprehensive code improvement platform that helps uh, developers to improve their code and deliver the best applications to individual customers in, uh, in real life. The platform enables users to proactively discover, predict and resolve errors in no time besides deploying apps with uh, confidence. Rollbar uh, lets uh, developers fix failed or broken tests faster with its effective uh, testing and Q&A features. In this way, organizations get to maintain a consistent application experience by resolving problems before they can cause any negative impacts. In addition, the platform also helps developers to improve their Q&A process over time by discovering errors that they have not found in the testing process. With Rollbar, users also get to receive instant notifications about new bugs, even before customers start to complain about them. The platform also bridges uh, the gap between developers and SRIEs, reducing uh, time between errors detection and uh, its uh, resolution. Moreover, its integrated issue assigning technique to the right team facilitates quick resolution. The integrations uh, are really what makes Rollbar stand uh, above uh, the competitors. When we go into the top, uh, basically, part of your screen, when you're at the rollbar.com and check up the integrations option, you see with how many softwares, different kind of softwares, you can really integrate Rollbar. Those are very nice CRM, uh, CRM options. We have Jira here, Asana, Slack, GitHub, GitLab, and many, many more that you can just use into your advantage in a roll bar to make it a couple steps better. They are located in California and made for all types of businesses. If it's a small, medium or large enterprise, they can work very, very well with them. You can run them in your, in your web browser, so there is no need for installation. When we check the pricing, it's all based about uh, what's your ever event volume. If it's 25K, you can basically see the free option, essentials, advanced, and also the enterprise level option where you can, uh, where you have obviously every, everything unlocked. But uh, everything unlocked. But if you're an enterprise and you need to really like tailor the, all the options for you, this is the best way how to do it. Also, when you move this uh, pretty dot, that means uh, your error volume is 1 million. Obviously, obviously the expensiveness of roll bar is getting higher, up to $2,624 a month, which is for advanced. So with free options, with free option, you get 25,000 error events a monthly, real-time feed and alert, intelligent error grouping, stack traces, telemetry, and more, deploy and version tracking, rollbar, queue relanguage, data retention, and one service link per project. With essentials, you obviously get everything in free, plus on-demand and data retention. Advanced get everything in the essentials, so it falls down like this and uh, it's all about enhanced uh, account dashboard and with uh, enterprise well sky is the limit so it's completely up to you when you scroll down there is a better picture on the roll bar what you can all expect 
uh, even the uh, volume gets to 10 millions so so yeah so uh, how to get it for free obviously you just have to go to the top right corner there is this option what time uh, try free when you click there there are options with sign up with github or uh, google or gmail account which i strongly recommend not only with the roll bar but uh, even if you are not uh, uh like prone to use your work email and you just want to try it out this can save you a lot of time of waiting for confirmation email then there's your conventional email address where you just basically address your email or work email and you proceed but for this case we are okay with gmail account so we click there and here we are let's well, all the rollback uh, sdks we can skip it but you can really pick the one view sample items for a uh, ro roll bar or setup roll bar sdk and we just view the sample in here those are all let's say fake or made up documents they are not from me but uh, they are already inputted by rollbar so you see some data how they're working how they're like basically putting it into their ui and how it looks from the first side on the left side you have your you have your uh basically dashboard or the side panel then also there are the items versions deploys rqls also the people that you can easily invite or track projects and obviously the settings with this uh you can all uh, you can see name of the uh, sorry into the settings or you can go into the teams and uh create a new team then invite more people into it then we have the users account access uh, tokens where uh, you need to uh, need to copy it if you want to create integration for example throughout the zapier or if the integration provided uh, by by rollbar are, are not enough for you you can easily basically just copy those and uh, then copy paste it into Zapier for extra extra security measures, let's say. Then identity provider, data retention and uh, process addendum. We have updates, upgrades and obviously your personal your personal account. Or you can just um, micromanage, uh, for example, the passwords. Here we can yet again enjoy already the pre made stuff where you get uh, tracebacks, occurrences, people, browser, uh, OS, IP addresses, spec deploy, other events, and uh, many more. I really like the UI. It's not appearing to me like it's from uh, last century. And that's always good if you have to work with it like 8 or 12 hours, maybe even more a day. You don't really look uh, into some kind of really ugly, ugly UI. If you have any types of questions, guys, about how to get into how to get into rollback, how to ask for uh, even a demo, because that's an option as well to ask for a demo and then you will get the more specific walkthrough uh, I can create that as well but so far if you have any types of questions about uh, the basic stuff that you saw in this video please let me know let me let me know underneath this video and uh, I'll get back to you. also there are going to be more and more videos about uh, specific tasks in rollback so you can 
be more focused on each and every video and not in the in one video as a as a big product so thank you guys for watching if you like the video leave like and subscribe thank you guys yet again and see you in the next one have a great day and goodbye